If you're turning your steering wheel like this but still driving straight, you may need a new steering gear. And if you look under the front end and the steering gear is leaking like mine is, then you may need a new box. Today I'm replacing the steering gear box on my 96 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm also replacing the non-variable assist high pressure line, the return line, and the power steering pump. But since I have other things going on, this video is only going to focus on how to replace the steering gear. You want to begin by lifting the front end and setting jack stands under the axle. I have an aftermarket intake, but if you have the factory one, you'll need a 13mm socket to loosen the three fasteners at the bottom of the box. Move the box out of the way, then use a 13mm socket to remove the nut from the plastic cover. This bolt clamps the lower steering shaft to the gearbox. You'll need a 13 millimeter socket for removal. These are notorious for being hard to remove, so I'm using a large pry bar that I'm going to rest on the sharp edge of the chassis right here and pry outward on the steering shaft with. The steering shaft is telescopic, but if yours is stuck and won't move backward, then try using heat. Also important to note, the steering shaft will not spin once it's disconnected on this vehicle. So don't worry about tying the steering wheel down and having someone hold it. But if it makes you feel better, just stick a pry bar through the U-joint. The next step is removing the driver's side wheel. And since I'm replacing both box and pitman arm, I'm just going to remove the drag link. I recently had this off, so all it took was a quick shot with the hammer to loosen it. And you'll need an 18 millimeter crow's foot wrench to remove the two steering lines from the gearbox. There's three bolts that mount the gearbox to the chassis located just above the sway bar bushing. And you'll need a 16 millimeter socket for removal. Since I'm working alone, I'm using my jack with a piece of wood to help support the box so it doesn't fall out when I remove the last bolt. Now that I have the box out, I need to remove this pitman arm nut with a 33mm socket. I'm putting the new pitman arm on the new box facing the same direction it was on the old box. Installation is reversal removal. 
put the box in from the bottom, line up the holes with one hand, support the box, fish your other hand through this hole in the chassis, and start your bolts by hand. The lower steering shaft will only go on one way, so make sure this flat side lines up with the other flat side. And now you have to purge the power steering system of air. So with both front tires off the ground, fill the reservoir until it's full. Leave the cap off. Then unlock the steering wheel and turn it lock to lock at least 20 times, which allows the fluid to flow through the box and lubricate. It's also important you do this with the engine off. Keep an eye on the fluid level and you should have to add more. When that's done, set the Jeep on the ground Start the engine and slowly turn the wheels lock to lock another 20 times, constantly checking the fluid level and add if necessary. Put the cap back on and keep an eye on the fluid level for the next couple days and check for leaks.